for deadly attacks in the Sinai Peninsula, multiple bombings, mortar attacks targeting security forces. The U.S. State Department says at least 29 people were killed. Ian Lee is following developments from Cairo and he joins us on the line. Ian, uh, first update us on what we know right now. Emerald, these were a very sophisticated uh, consecutive attacks that took place in northern Sinai, hitting multiple army checkpoints in three various cities what we're hearing over the course of two hours there were mortar fires there were car bombs used and who are hearing the group taking responsibility is a group that recently uh, joined or claimed allegiance to isis the group formerly known as uh, ansar Beit al-maqdas uh, are the ones that are saying they they carried out the attack and this is another a very deadly attack uh, the, the, that we've seen from the group re recently. We saw last October 31 soldiers killed in a similar style attack. These attacks are usually hit and runs on security checkpoints. Uh, we are hearing from the Army that a firefight uh, between militants and soldiers took place afterwards, uh, that they were potentially targeting a general as well in this attack, uh, but a, a very, a very dangerous time for Egypt as it hit many, many different army checkpoints across the northern part of Sinai. And and, and Egypt, you know, as, as you, uh, Ian, as you know only too well, Egypt's had an ongoing problem in the Sinai uh, with Islamist militants uh, in the last uh, couple of years or so. Do, do, does Egyptian authorities feel they're winning that battle? This this is this is not the first attack. The army released a statement, Michael, that said that they have been very successful, and this is the result of a very successful campaign that the militants are getting desperate. But it is very hard for the Egyptian military to be winning the, the campaign in northern Sinai. They're not winning, going after really the hearts and minds of the local people, the local Bedouins. And that's where we're seeing a lot of these militants coming from, the local people. And when the army goes in and conducts operations. They destroy homes of some of the people. The militants then go and provide money to these people to help them rebuild their lives. It's going to be very difficult for the military to win without having the, the support of the local people. And it doesn't seem like they're going too far to try to get that, Michael.